Hi everyone, it is December. I know I haven't been on here in a long time, but if this is your first time visiting my channel, I just hit my arm. My name is Mary and I am 36 years old. I like beauty and fashion and makeup and all sorts of things. This channel seems a little scattered. It's because I like a lot of stuff and I like to share it with you folks, but thank you for joining in. Today's video is actually on all of this stuff that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm basically doing an almost a full face of Charlotte Tilbury focusing on the Pillow Talk line, which I know is kind of old news. However, the reason I'm doing this video is because, well, they've got some great sales going on, which is why I ended up with all this stuff. And I wanted to show you what this looks like on a 36 year old face. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So first up, we're going to prime. This is the Wonder Glow. I'm still getting used to this new, there you go. This new camera that I have just bought a Sony and it's great, but I'm still getting used to it. I used to just film with my phone. It is a primer and it's got a lot of really nice ingredients in there, including hyaluronic acid. Ugh, that's a little bit of a tongue twister for me, but it's got a lot of stuff in there that's supposed to kind of give you a nice kind of dewy finish. And at my age and my skin being a little bit dry, this is the kind of primer I would use anyway. So I've got my trusty little mirror over here. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of priming. It's supposed to kind of give you a lit from within glow. So we'll see how it goes. It feels really nice on the skin. It is very, very hydrating, which I think a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products are, which is one of the reasons why I do like this brand. This feels pretty good. It's a little bit tacky, but very moisturizing. So uh, this is probably a primer I'm gonna use quite often. Next up is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It is full coverage. Can you see it? <laughs> this is shade two neutral. I am, of course, devoted to my Armani foundation. However, I am up for trying new things and I got this shade because I'm hoping this is gonna be a good option for my pale days. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna give it a little shake get the pump going. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I'm putting this on with a beauty blend. Well, not a beauty blender. This is actually a pawpaw sponge, which I like better than the beauty blender because it is a little bit softer. And let's see how I did shade match wise. So I am usually pretty decent at guessing what I need based on online swatches. And I think this is going to be a good option for my pale days when I'm not wearing self tanner. The coverage is full coverage and it is doing a really good job of covering up my redness. Now, my face is usually darker and redder than my neck, so I try to match my neck and like the rest of my body. This is doing pretty good. That was two pumps, which might have been a little bit much, but that is great. So here it is. All right, so I like this a lot. I think this is going to be definitely in my rotation. I'm looking at it in the monitor and it looks really good, really smooth. And I think this is a good foundation for someone who is drier with the primer. It's a really smooth application and I don't see it clinging to my dry spots too much and it's not really clinging to my lines, which I like. So up next is one of the things I'm most excited about and that's Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I have been on the hunt for a concealer that I like for a very long time. And I have ones that I do enjoy a lot, but I don't know if I am fully committed to anything that I have right now. I used to be a shape tape girly, but then I got older and it's just not quite what I need. So I don't know how I feel about this applicator. Applicator, <laughs> I can't talk today y'all. Anyway, so this is kind of one of those sort of felt tip Felt tip, I don't know if that's the right way. Sponge tip, there we go. This is one of those sponge tip applicators. So you do have to kind of do this until it comes out and then you don't want it to come out too much because then you're wasting product. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's still not out yet. Ooh. And by the way, this is shade number three, Fair Pale. Taking it um, under my eyes where I need it, side of my nose where I have redness and over a couple of spots where I have a little bit of pigmentation. I don't think I'm crazy about this packaging. I don't know if I'm supposed to twist it or 
I don't know, I might be messing it up. <laughs> the formula is great. I think this will get easier to open and close once I've used it a little bit more. But let's go ahead and blend, blend, blend. It does dry out, so I would suggest doing this a little bit faster than I am. But it does offer really nice coverage. It's did a good job of kind of disguising those under eye circles that I have right now. All right, so here is the base. Don't have any complaints. I don't think that is my favorite concealer in the whole world. However, it does feel like it's going to have a lot of staying power, so it might end up being something that grows on me throughout the day. Um, sometimes with concealer too, as you kind of go through the day and you get a little bit more oily and everything kind of melts together, your concealer can kind of improve, I think, in my mind. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, in terms of, you know, highlighting my lines underneath, my smile lines, not really having any issues. I'm not seeing any clinging here or here, which is good news. And that makes sense. I think Charlotte Tilbury is a, a brand that is pretty friendly to women over 30. I like it so far. I think the base looks great. And we are going to go ahead and put on a little bit of powder. I'm using Laura Mercier. And then we are going to start on the eyes. Okay, so now it is time for eyes and we are gonna come in just a little bit closer. We're gonna start first with this shade right here, which is the prime shade. So what I'm gonna use is a relatively fluffy brush and I'm gonna look straight ahead in the mirror, which let me move this a little bit closer. There we go. So I'm gonna look straight ahead and just put a little wash of color going back and forth, and I don't need to tell you this, it is very obvious, I am not a professional makeup artist. I've done my own makeup a ton. I am not a professional makeup artist, so hopefully you enjoy this, but you take it with a grain of salt. I'm just gonna add a little wash of color on the lid, and then we are going to take the Enhance shade, and this is just a slightly lighter shade. It looks pretty nice. I think I'm just gonna take it kind of toward the outer part of my lid to blend that shade in, the primer shade. So this is pretty. It's a nice neutral, almost pinky shade. Next up, oak shade, and I'm gonna use this a little bit closer to the eyelid. So I'm gonna get a small brush and I am going to dip that there. And I'm gonna use a little piece of tissue to kind of help me create the liner effect with this. And I'm gonna just kind of take it along my lash line and then I am going to kind of create a little bit of a wing with that. And I have very hooded eyes, so how I do my eyeshadow may not be your preference, but this is what works best for me. And then what I like to do is kind of create a little bit of a V with that kind of shadow shade and then blend it in. So what I'm gonna do also now is take the prime shade and the smoke shade and take them along the bottom of my lid here, of my eyelashes, and just kind of do this. I like my kind of overall eyeshadow look to kind of wing out a bit. I think that's the most flattering for me, and I like to make sure the bottom is kind of connected to that wing. And there we go. I know I didn't do a great job of explaining it, but hopefully, you kind of get what I'm going for with the view here. And then finally, what we're gonna do is take the pop shade here, this one, and I'm gonna just apply it with my finger. And this is probably my favorite glitter ever because it is just enough. It is not too much. It is really flattering, just really nice. And that was not the most descriptive I've ever been, but you get the picture, I like it. So uh, yeah, I have really loved this uh, eyeshadow palette and will be using it a lot this season. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we're gonna talk about the eyeliner. Okay, so <laughs> we've got things zoomed back out to uh, a little bit more comfortable of a state. I'm gonna adjust the camera just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so this is about where we should be. So up next, we are going to actually curl the lashes, use the mascara. This is not that exciting. <laughs> okay, so Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes is what I'm using for the mascara. And you're supposed to get instant volume, length, and 24-hour vertical lift. So those are a lot of claims. Let's see how it stacks up. 
The lashes are curled and I like this wand. It is kind of on the thin side, but it's got a, it's got a really interesting shape to it. This is coat number one. So far, I like it. We're gonna do the other eye and I'm gonna use the mirror in this so that way you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so this side went on a, a touch clumpy, but that's okay. I'm also gonna do my lower lashes on the outside because I wouldn't mind kind of more of a, kind of a dolly look maybe. So we're gonna do two coats and I'll show you the finished product. Here it is, I don't hate it, but uh, it is a touch clumpy and I do have a little bit right underneath. Okay, that's okay, that's fixable. <laughs> anyway, I don't hate it. I don't think it's like, I just dropped my phone again. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I think it's one that I'm gonna give a try a few different times to see. I think I might be, I think this, the reason I'm not loving it might be user error. It is kind of an interesting wand because it's almost flat. So I might see if there's any videos on how to best use this mascara wand. So once again, might be user error, but the formula itself is really nice. It's a little bit liquidy, uh, but it does give me volume and length. So it does what it says it's going to do. So what we're doing next is I am going to put on a little bit of contour. I've been using the Westman Atelier contour and I really like it and I'm trying to use this up before I buy a new one so I'm going to contour real quick and then we are going to use the liquid blush. Up next we have the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand and I love these liquid blushes. This is a mini size that comes with this pack but I have used their blushes before and I do love them and you just kind of squeeze it out. I'm going to try to be easy with it. And this is the first time I've used one of the matte options. So we're just gonna do a few little, oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this shade. Okay, if you do use this, just make sure you twist it back closed or it will make a mess. But this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this shade. We are going to add a little bit more. Here we go. I love this kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It is such a pretty pink on the skin, but it's not too bright. So this is great for winter and it's really natural looking. And yeah, this is fantastic. 10 out of 10, which we already know, this is viral product, everyone loves it. The other thing I have are two blushes, Swish and Glow blushers. And I have Pillow Talk and I have Pillow Talk Intense. So I'm gonna show you what both of these look like. And I'm just gonna use this to set the blush, which is something that I really like to do because it makes your blush stay longer. So when you put on a liquid product and then you set it, so liquid or cream, and then you set it with a powder product. So this is the Pillow Talk shade. And then this is the Pillow Talk Intense shade. So both options, really nice. I am just gonna use the traditional Pillow Talk shade. And they also sent me a powder and sculpt brush, which was kind of a freebie. Oh no. <laughs> okay, Woo. let's hope this is not broken. I don't think it is. So this is the Pillow Talk shade and it's fine. And the brush is very soft, very nice, no complaints. We're just gonna shift and just kind of put it on top. It does have a little bit of glow, a little bit of sparkle. It would help if I was not blocking the camera here. Oh, this is really nice. I don't know if I would wear this on its own unless I was going for like a really subtle makeup look, but on top of the other blush, on top of the liquid blush, this is perfection. Okay, so now we have the face done. We're gonna focus on the lips. Guess whose camera ran out of battery? Mine. So we're gonna do this real quick. We are going to use the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat, which is a wonderful neutral on me. And we're gonna use the lipstick and then we're gonna be done. So I did a little bit of overlining. I love this lip pencil. Probably my favorite. I've gone through at least three. And we're gonna use the lipstick, which I've actually never used with the lip liner, believe it or not. So.
the formula nice and comfortable it is a nice pinky nude on me and this is it this is the full face of pillow talk thank you for joining me i'm making this quick because i think my battery is about to run out again but feel free to subscribe and i will see you guys next time